Okay, uh, today seems to be YouTube video time. Uh, it's me again. This video will be called Calculate Linux or what? So, why I'm saying that? Uh, because there might be some viewers out which say, Dirk, you're biased. You compare everything to Calculate Linux. Yeah, and I will do so in the future. So, what I'm saying is, <laughs> I give you guys a chance to influence my opinion. So, if you say, you know what, Dirk, Calculate Linux is fine, I like it, but, you know, that is a but. Yes, but means no, and no but means yes. So as soon as somebody agrees with you but says but, uh, it's not really agreeing. <laughs> this is just a live hack for free. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I have to shoot these things out every now and then. So, however, what it is about is... <coughs> You guys uh, could challenge me to use a different operating system. Oh, hold on. Different Linux distro, right? Um, once I got Voyager running, I would be even tempted uh, to take a challenge of BSD, but only to show you guys, you see, we're a little bit behind with BSD. Do I like BSD? Yeah, I tried. I tried Ghost BSD. Uh, I installed free BSD. My, you know, it's, it's not Master Race, uh, like Arch Master Race. Oh, look, I installed it from scratch. It's actually half as difficult as people think it is. The same with Gen2, the same with Fun2, though the same is also true with FreeBSD. It's not such a big deal anymore. It's not anymore like in the earlier days, you know, that you lose half your blood uh, on the way to install any of those. So don't let that scare you. For whatever you want to try, uh, you can try it. You will see how easy it is actually. Um, it's not that difficult. Don't get scared. It's maybe not for the absolutely newbie coming to Linux um, from Windows, but you will get there very quick. You will see how easy everything is. It's not that difficult. Uh, it's just principles, you know, a few principles, and once you know them, you learn them on the way with Linux. Every now and then you do something, and you will be surprised and say, oh, that, that's it. So for those who just want to have an operating system which works, don't be afraid. You don't have to do anything. There are a few operating systems or Linux distros out where you really have to do nothing at all, not much. Like, uh, yeah, I, I got my virtual box shut on Calculate Linux, which makes me sad and it's not nice, but this happens because well, that's not a Calculate Linux uh, failure. If you search for the error, you see it on Windows, you see it on everywhere. It's just, uh, you know, I always punish people when I say that, but it's the quality system, quality control is not working. You, you can't put something out that causes errors like that. It's not that you can, do you do a product and you throw it out of the market and then you get all the error messages back, right? Uh, people like VirtualBox, there is some other stuff out like boxes, uh, Quorum or whatever it's called, this uh, virtual uh, machine manager. So there's lots of stuff out. We like VirtualBox, we like it, we forgive them, well, of course we are generous. Uh, but it would be much better not to do so, right? Uh, a little bit quality control would make things much easier. We don't have to push uh, Linux with the application back to Stone Edge or coming into the age of Windows, which is worst. Uh, you don't want to get there. So VirtualBox, if you listen, do some quality control, have some people testing it, don't just throw it out. Because uh, if you look for your own error messages, you will see that too many people have the same error. So it could have been avoided instead of frustrating people and killing their time. And we're happy to support you and give you a buck here and there. Um, that doesn't matter. We still do it. We like your work. But there's no need to trash uh, somebody's installation, right? That might have been a little bit harsh, but was still true. So that's why it's... It stays! So this is it. However, so what you guys can do now is... Um, and I will collect this as best as I can. I mean, in the moment I have a handful of subscribers, so it's not too much, right? I can do this almost in my head because I've got 10 fingers, I can count. And so what you guys could do is you just write down, Dirk, try this and this distro. You know, we can go on uh, distro watch and say, you know, I would like to how this works. I mean, that's the thing, not just installing it on a virtual box and show you how nice it works, right? Because they all work nice on a virtual box and it gives you no indicator how they work at all on hardware. So my idea is, uh, have, keeping in mind, I have this Optimus laptop, which gives me hustle and grief. So I can't install Corora, Fedora in a moment. Um, I will try to find a way around it. It must be possible. You know, that's the thing. I can't give up. Um, they called me Rottweiler before. I don't know how that happens. <laughs> so however, um, 
I will make it work. I hope I get Voyager running soon because then I have no trouble anymore installing everything what I want because it's just an ordinary PC with a quad core CPU and video graphic card and then we can see how it runs on hardware. And uh, I would use it for most of my tasks, so what I'm doing, right? So I use VirtualBox in a moment, I have to because I have to do my assignments. Uh, they're all made for people with Windows computers. I do not like Windows, so I got my little virtual box here. And yeah, I should uh, read this, that's why I don't do it away. So and I've got something like my Windows 7 here, so Windows 7 Pro, and that's how I do them. I don't want to install Windows, I don't want to use it. I only use it where I have to, and I don't need an install for it and ruin my computer with it. So I just do it on, uh, on a virtual machine. So that's what I'm doing, and it works. Uh, here I've got Corora, which I liked a lot. I, I can't say, but I liked it a lot. I can't put my finger on it why I like it so much. It's the same with Calculate Linux, and in a moment, that's my favorite. And I do not believe that Calculate Linux would ever go away. Maybe there will be another main distro, which I'll use for some time, but, you know, my fallback is Calculate Linux. And I can't say, oh, I have to make that information here uh, known. I had Calculate Linux on my wife's uh, ex Pavilion 17 inch laptop and I haven't updated it for at least six or seven months So if you imagine that would be arch you would have been out of keys for certificates blah 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 blah, blah. So tons of hassle to get it updated and if it updates it might just ruin your whole system uh, Why do you say that Dirk? you trash talk arch? No, this is reality guys. This is uh, comes from experience because I did things like that. Oh yeah, don't tell anyone, but I did things like that and it ruined my installation. So, yeah, naughty, naughty Dirk, don't do things like that. So, back to Calculate Linux. So, I called that off. Um, do I have my... Let me have a look here, guys. Um, is that on pictures? Photos? Uh, da -da 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 -da. Oh, no, not on. Where's my, my photos or pictures? Because well, I made a screenshot of it, so I go and went there and fired up my my calculate Linux, and then I run the update. And surprise, it was more than 700 megabytes to uh, upload. Actually, uh, you see what I'm looking for is my clouds. Ah, here's my cloud station. Okay, what's wrong with you? Uh, Bible fun? No, it's none of those photos. Da, 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 da. Don't have any picture. No, no, no. Uh, okay, I can't see my screenshot here, but it's not a big deal. You got to believe me. Okay, no, you can actually believe. So I did run this update. It took quite some time because it's a very powerless laptop. It has really no guts. Uh, once it run, it runs, it's running okay, but the CPU is weak. Um, so it's nothing really for recording because it needs a second CPU <laughs> to keep it alive. <laughs> Uh, but it did it. It uh, six or seven year, uh, seven months old installation. I never updated it. Uh, updated it yesterday night, and it worked just fine. Everything is good. No problems. No, no, nothing like I experienced with Arch. That's maybe a good thing to know. So back to this uh, calculate Linux or what? So tell me the or what? Let me know what you would like to see, and I will try to make that my daily driver for some time. I have my fallbacks, you know. So I've got my Ubuntu here just to keep my Synology applications running so everything what is Fedora based or Ubuntu should be totally easy to keep my uh, Synology stuff running on it I know I was whining maybe one or once or twice on different videos I'm still not over it because I want it working however let me know what you would like to see and I will try to use it as my daily driver um, and I'll let you know what I think about it um, so I will not trash it right away if it gives me some hustle, which I like to do when I install something and it has a glitch and it doesn't make me happy, then I usually kick it out. So, you know, like uh, Linux Mint XFCE, it had to go because it just didn't... Um, it did funky stuff. You know, it put the writing in small, so uh, there are lots of little steaming issues. The steaming was the issue here, but what I really didn't like. Uh, I changed the fonts, uh, it kind of changed back every now and then, I don't know what I did to make it change back. I hated it, <coughs> so it had to go. So in the moment here, this is that boy where it was, uh, that's my Calculate Linux, and I expanded this because I got into uh, space trouble and I made a video about it, like uh, why I would not like uh, GNOME or Budgie, 
because that would have given me so much grief if I wouldn't have had a proper file manager. But watch that video if you want to hear around and most important, his reasons why you should not install it. And you got the power to change it, so if you like GNOME, use your power to make them uh, work your way, you know, the user's way. It's, it's meant for the users. Arch, I didn't boot in for that for a long time here. I, I might just kick it out. Uh, because Arch is it's cumbersome and tiring, all these tons of updates you have every day, you know. And you, if you wait too long, then the updates will crash your system most of the time. And I'm not interested in that either. So I like to keep a simple life. That's my MX-16 and I'm waiting for them actually to do the MX-17 update. Because I want to see how that goes through, right? That would be a nice video to show people how to go from MX-16 to M MX-17. And what obstacles are waiting? Does it trash your system or does it work okay? It's holding my home partition too, so if it trash, it doesn't really matter. I still have access to my data. And that's why I tell everyone, have at least two independent, different based uh, operating systems. Like if you have a Gentoo based one, that's good. You have a rolling release, you're totally fine. Use something what is a little bit more long-term solution, like uh, Ubuntu, Linux Mint. I mean, yes, they're Ubuntu based. Uh, these long-term things. Like if you use Fedora, it's always just for a year and actually more than for, two, uh, for 10 months. Because it takes a few months for them to get the bugs out until the operating system is reliable. So, but uh, it's your turn. You can tell me what to try. I tried to install uh, Peppermint 8 here already. It didn't work because Peppermint 8 seems to be based on Ubuntu 14.03. Uh, and that is giving me hassle. I cannot install it. It gives me this, uh, the same I had with Fedora, I guess, the CPU locked software uh, bug. <coughs> I have to Google around it, make uh, make it work around, and then I would put on, uh, what's it called, Corora, because I like it, the seeming is nice. Um, I'm quite sure I can install um, like Solid X, uh, the XFCE version. Surprise, why do you like XFCE? I spoke about it many times. Um, so, yeah, give me an idea what you would like to see. Um, and I think after, maybe even tonight I will try to change... Uh, Voyager into a PC again and put the guts because there's my free NAS box in it. There's four times two terabyte in it, and my free NAS is running on on Miro two USB sticks. And I have to put that in TARDIS. So in order to use um, my my machine here, I don't know what that to. And, uh, yeah, I don't know what that is. Uh, am I a disk dropper? No. Yes. No. Yes. I don't know. Uh, kind of because I'm very interested in uh, in computers, electronics, technic. And I'm always fascinated uh, what everybody comes up with, you know, and the, the feel of different operating systems. Like uh, Ubuntu, Ubuntu, they did a good service to get Linux faster where it is now. Because they made the first, uh, I mean, I used Knopix or Knopix, and that did the trick for me. Uh, Mandriva was the first, uh, what I paid for actually, Linux distribution, and it kind of worked. Uh, Knopix or Knopix did a much better job to me in the earlier days. You know, five years ago in the 1990s. <laughs> At least it feels like that. Um, so, yeah, and I must say, so I'm not trash talking Ubuntu, and they're not uh, spyware producers like Microsoft, by no means, by absolutely no means. So when people say, but they put the Amazon link on, yeah, and it wasn't nice, and oh, shame on you, Ubuntu, get your slaps on your fingers. Do not do that anymore or you get you can really lose all your business because people don't take that lightly except Windows, Windows users they're used to it so it's okay that they have their privacy invaded um, they shouldn't but I always get that do I I mean I really have to put some videos about uh, privacy and how to protect yourself and passwords especially if people use Windows you know because it's so transparent for everybody everybody I must admit that I might have maybe done a friend of mine, he did hacking too. That's the best way to say it. A friend of mine, he was hacking too. And it was so easy to have access to tons of Windows computers. And my friend, I must say, my friend, uh, he actually used his uh, hacking skills to, uh, let's say, to have access to other Windows machines. And he, he usually went in the registry and took all the other viruses out, you know, the Trojans. 
uh, to kind of free clean up their system to keep them kind of safe and um, that was the best what could have been done you know it was just interesting to see how easy you, you oh, there's so many of infected computers uh, my friend he was even in a, in, a, uh, in a clinic computer so and I said uh, let's say that good that my friend doesn't have an evil bone so he just cleaned up their system and got the heck out of there but uh, not everybody is like that right like my good friend who is cleaning other people's computer for free while well, once he's in uh, and to actually it doesn't last long because these people still do the same thing and uh, yeah bang the computer is fully spammed again with spyware malware and, and all these things um, yeah so kind of makes me sad but it's not, not much you can do for some reason uh, Microsoft is still holding the majority of computers like Munich you know this guy who wants to change to Windows 10 he should be fired he should be fired he should not be uh, any advisor in, in IT because he just demonstrated that he has no clue about companies security data protection or anything else maybe he can switch a computer on with help if somebody guides his finger to the switch uh, this guy should be fired I don't understand this. How can incompetence, which is so transparent and so clear, how can this guy still be in a job? But, I mean, yeah, okay, that brings me back to why do you get some criminals to prison and the other criminals go free? Oof. Yeah, I'm just a dumb guy. I, I don't have the answer. Sorry, guys. Uh, you have to go to a different channel to give you the answers because I'm just dumb and I have no clue. I don't know. And I have <laughs> holy moly! This guy from Munich. I mean, they should publish his name. You know, they really should do this because then you know, if you get a, uh, a resume and you find that name, you say, "No, I like to have my data protected and safe as best as possible." So no, yeah. Uh, that's my personal opinion. As, as long as I'm allowed to have it, I I, I have it now. Oh, the guys from the uh, uh, phone companies van are coming out. I wonder what they want. It seems they're coming to my door and ringing the bell. <laughs> well, okay, I, one day this might be real. I hope it's not. So, okay, guys. Uh, I don't go in politics. I don't like politics. Uh, I like humans. I like to help. I got help a lot, and I would like to pay back a little bit. So, But if you guys want to see me testing some of these distros, what you like, what you see, what... Maybe you're just interested in it and you torture somebody else. Torture me. Have mercy on me, guys. And I will try my best to make it work. Once I got Voyager running, there shouldn't be any proper, uh, any big trouble anymore to get anything running. And I think, you know what, guys, because I'm lazy to do my assignments tonight, I will stand up tomorrow morning early. There will be no videos coming, except I will fix the VirtualBox problem on the latest uh, Gen 2 update. Oh, let's better say the latest VirtualBox update, because it doesn't matter which operating system it is. They just screwed it up again. Um, yeah. So, and I get this box running, and then it's a little bit because I don't have a KVM switch. It's again more than $100 to get that switch running, $130, I guess I would have to pay. So, I have to do it the hard way. I have to unplug my uh, gaming laptop and, and from the monitor and plug it back in on the, on the Voyager box. But I'm happy to do this. I'm not happy to do this, but I do it because I'm happy to show and help and do these things. And I kind of enjoy it. And when, when I figure out that some people watch this video and uh, it helps, I like it a lot. So this was more entertaining. If it's really funny, no, I don't know, because I laugh about a lot of things which are not funny. So, but that's what it is. Why did I leave the virtual box open here? There, down, focus. Don't do that. But you see, that's what I like. And, uh, that is what drove me back to Ubuntu here, or Xubuntu, better thing. I don't like Ubuntu, no. GNOME? What the heck? Are you insane? Why would anybody use GNOME? I mean, as I made a video about, oh, I'm not getting carried away. No, you see, I'm resisting here. No, Dirk, don't let it drag you down. So, no, I'm not going to do this. I made a, a short video about it, <laughs> about GNOME and Pachi, a very short. You know, I had to hold back, just give you the facts. <laughs> I think it's only 45 minutes long. <laughs> oh dear me. This video goes long too. That was not supposed to get that long. Um, I still hope you like it. Um, look at this. Oh yeah, okay. I've got Chrome open and um, 
and water fox so yeah and i will make some little private privacy videos just to wake people up you know that to protect yourself do not agree with products or companies spying on you what the heck guys have some some dignity for yourself because others try to take that away so say no to the spice and you got the power if you don't buy their product they have to change if people spy too much on you and you don't get the products anymore this is it for them then they can go and uh, sit in front of mcdonald's with a sign you know i need food i'm happy to help them but i'm not happy to help them to get my data my my super secret uh, holiday photos or whatsoever or even my extreme na uh, nsa safe passwords you know yeah i'm just saying that so all right um i left a message at sneaky linux if he because he made a, he helped a lady to stream with obs studio um, but sadly there wasn't an answer how to get my desktop sound and my microphone sound recorded in one I would like to do that because that would be very interesting I could do more things it might be easier with my uh, Voyager box but we will see I think I go now and and change everything so that I get it uh, up and running and then I think first program going on uh, operating system will be calculate Linux and I think then I'll let you guys decide what else goes on. I might put Corora on just to show you how it works, guys. It's not a bad distro. I like Calculix. I calculate Linux. I stay with Calculate Linux. But I also like very much uh, Corora. I like very, 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 very much MX16. And I trust MX17 will be even more better. And MX is a, a brilliant community. If, if you are sick of uh, read the wiki arch and Debian, you're banned because you are not listening to the troll. How dare you say troll go away. So if you have, if you're fed up with that, uh, find a distro with a very nice community. I, I thought, maybe I'll mention it honorable here, Calculate Linux. Uh, I, the first time I encountered these guys, I came already with lots of steam. I think I was freshly banned from the Debian forum. So I was fed up and uh, Nobody's, I mean, yeah, Debian's forum's fault. The Debian developers, my respect, but your forum people are absolutely rubbish. They need to be replaced. The whole thing, you know, get the trolls out, get the administrators who support trolls, uh, get them all out, and you will have much more business. But they don't want to. At least the forum told me they have enough customers or users. They don't need any. Uh, talking about arrogance, right? Leave it away, Dirk. Don't get carried away. So I went to the Calculate Linux forum. Under Steam, and I had a tiny problem. And I might have, I mean, I'm just saying, it might have been my fault. You know, sometimes, very seldom, Dirk does user errors. It is possible. I know that comes like a shock. How, how dare, no, not really. Yes, it does. So, yeah, I can make mistakes. <sighs> Don't tell anyone. Don't tell my wife, because she will say, I told you so. And, you know, and then I have to. Reinforce rule one and two. Dirk is always right. Rule number one and rule two. If Dirk is not right, we reinforce rule number one. Yeah, to make it work. However, so I came there with Steam and I wasn't really the nicest person to start with, but they were patient. You know, they just overlooked or didn't react to my little bit, ag a little bit aggressive uh, tone I must have had. And having said this, in especially in writing, you can't uh, uh, emphasize things and uh, pronounce them properly so the whole this is, it's a single way of communication nobody knows really how you say things because the sound makes the music right so but they were they just went over it they were just interested in helping they, were, they didn't want to fight me in hello debian forum uh, or arch wikis that they are just showing off oh you have no idea this is gentle master race calculate music no they have nothing of that so they're good people too same with mx uh, 16 forum i must say great people really great you not get told off use the search for the function first you know these people they are usually debian and arch linux that's where they belong to and that's where they should go if you'd want to tell somebody to use the search function first go there because if people post something on a forum they have done most of the time this weren't able to find it for what reason so ever or just desperate to get quick help that can happen too and it's not much to ask for help, uh, not asking too much to help ask for help, right? 
So, but before I get carried away again, if you look for a distro you would like to use as your main driver, look for the community too. It is so important. You might never need, need them, but if you use them a single time and you have trouble and you get the uh, read the wiki, uh, trust me, that's a deal breaker. Or if you have uh, you know, a troll coming telling you how smart he is and blah, 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 and you say, not booger out of my post, I'm here to get help. Uh, and then you get banned. <laughs> you know what I mean? Shuffle it up somewhere. You know, I can't say that. This is a swearing free channel. So I'm not telling them, telling you <laughs> where they have to shovel it. You can, I think you can imagine. Yeah, I'm just, I have no respect for kind of this kind of people. I just don't. Um, so find a good community. Community community first and then the distro second. Because on the end, this is all Linux. It runs all the same kind of kernels. It runs it in a little bit different way. It has a different architecture. Texture. Like Ubuntu Debian, you see that's the best uh, thing. They use Debian packages, but they have a different architecture They're under the hood that looks a little bit different. They hide their files in different folders a little bit, and that makes it incompa incompatible. So then, yeah, Arch Gen to Arch is uh, it's actually the reality bleeding edge because it makes you bleed sweat um, because it, it crashes your system so often. Uh, I liked Arch when I used it, but I got tired of tons of updates. Uh, I was one of the lucky ones who haven't haven't had uh, all these crashes so often, but I had a few and I had to fix it. Uh, yeah, luckily I knew how to fix it, so for me it was just a few minutes of work. But if you don't have that, uh, then you're in trouble and it's no fun. So with Gen2, what did I have until now? And I must say from my experience since I started, actually what I had last, that is the only one I can actually really remember. Did I say actually a few times already? So it was my graphical update I was on strike. Um, it didn't do it. Then I used the cl-update command on the terminal, which fixed it. And it fixed actually the graphical update. It just works fine now. Um, second is now VirtualBox is terminated. Exterminate, exterminate Doctor Who right to the rescue. Um, yeah, Doctor Who has to come and change for, uh, fix VirtualBox. It's not a uh, Calculate Linux problem. <coughs> but it happened first on Calculate Linux. That's why I associated with it. Uh, it's nothing I, uh, uh, Calculate Linux can do. I could do. Maybe I could just go and roll it back. But I'm not rolling it back just yet. Um, I'd rather focus on other things in a moment, like getting the Voyager box running. And I will do this now and I'll switch you guys off. So, because you're not helping, I have to do that all by myself on my own. Okay, guys, uh, think about it. Would you like me to test, uh, you know how critical I am, to test something different, uh, a different distro, maybe a different desktop environment, but it has to be something, you know, what I would think uh, different and good. Like for me, Cinnamon was different, never used Cinnamon. And when I saw it, I said, okay, it's not bad, actually. There were little things I missed uh, compared to the XFCE uh, desktop environment, but it, w it was doable. You could work with it. It wasn't that bad. Uh, KDE, I liked it a lot until I didn't, and I told many times the reasons. I, you know, I repeat this in videos, but uh, with having 25 or 28 subscribers, I sh maybe should not repeat that all the time, because <laughs> it's most of the time the same people watching it. Um, I don't know, I have to work on strategies here. Think Dirks, don't talk too much, think, think, think. Um, this is it now, guys, I switch it off. Uh, write down in the comments what you would like me to test, and I will try to make it possible. Um, and yeah, tonight I will just go and uh, work on my boxes and put the guts from Voyager into TARDIS and the TARDIS guts go somewhere, I'll keep them because that's a debut, I have to say that I, I, okay guys, you forced me to say this so FreeNAS, it's a network access storage system I run it on two USB sticks which I mirror so if one fails, my system is still running fine, I put the next one in and because it's ZFS it will just reserve and up and running again, no trouble the same is with the hard drives, they're all ZFS and their volumes and I use at least one drive redundancy. So I've got four 2 terabyte hard drives, one is redundancies and you can take them out and put the whole thing in a totally different computer, doesn't really matter what. You fire up uh, FreeNAS or ZFS, finds all the volumes, you can't, don't have to put them in a certain of a order of row or order connects them to as your SATA point doesn't really matter just plug it all in in any computer boot it up fire it up it runs fine everything is working no big deal 
and I might show you guys uh, how you move your um, GL content from Freenas to a different drive or volume. That's a good thing to know, you know, because you might have to change hard drives and you might get into this. Because GLs is where you have all your data, everything what you put on um, plugins, whatever you install, it's in your GL, all the configurations, right? And you don't want to lose that. So I will do this one day, but not now. Now I think I really get excited to move the guts out and move it around. And then I have to say goodbye to my Optimus gaming laptop for now. I will use it for games, but as I said, I used World, I played World of Tanks, but I'm really not keen anymore. Man, I, when I, lo I loved that game, I was playing a lot, but now I can hardly finish one game because when I see it's rigged, you know, like uh, eight, uh, yeah, eight to one, you lost already eight tanks and the enemy just won. That means uh, it's full in full swing the rigging, and no, it's not worth my time. So I just get out, out of four, get out of it. Uh, don't bother anymore. It's not worth playing. So don't, not worth my time. I still play it every now and then, but I have no trouble getting out with Alder 4, and I can't even remember which tank I used last, because I lost my interest so much. I'm, I'm still there because I bought some premium tanks, but without that I would have gone a long time. Uh, I kind of hope that the, all these losers in, the, in the Wargaming get fired, and that they employ the people who made that game in the first place, come back, you know. Most likely they're down, so the whole game is dying, and it's dying fast. Holy moly. So do not spend money on it. I would save my money because it's a dying game. And they say, no, it's not dying because they have in the forum. Uh, it's almost like Debian forum, just in a different way, you know, the same and equal, but not. Uh, they have their trolls. If you write down, oh, this game is dying, they come, no, it's not. It's so nice. It's so beautiful, blah, 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 blah. And they get their paycheck, you know, from Wargaming because they have to say good things. And you get banned for telling the truth or having a different opinion. You can't have that. That is a uh, Dictator, dictator of forum, like Debian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I brought it in one point here. Uh, this is what it is. So, scratch everything else what you don't like. Uh, you have the right of your free opinion. I still have it for now, and I use it. Let me know what you like. Want, uh, what you want me to try? Uh, which distro you would like to see? Even if you just want to see it in a virtual box, and uh, what is different? How I see the difference? Not that I'm the center of the universe. I'm a little bit off. But <laughs> okay, I switch off guys before I get in trouble here. Have a good night and I uh, see you soon and there will be most likely no video anymore tomorrow and it will be that's why I make lots of video now. Now in a moment of time I wasted my afternoon. Not wasted, I used my afternoon different than I should have done, so I have to do tomorrow the hard work and I will do. And um I don't know when I get videos out again. Uh, I try to make one a day, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And this is more uh, entertaining, challenging video, and even if you're just beginning it, you still have the essentials. I would like to know if you want me to test something. Happy to do so. Uh, in between, I fire up my little uh, reminders, advice, stuff, and opinions. Hope you like that too. And so this is it now. I think that video goes far too long. Oh, have a good night, guys. Stay safe and uh, do not support anybody spying on you. Bye-bye.